Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just going to break bad. Flatbed cargo smash through cab of the truck. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Drivers, flatbed drivers. This is a quick PSA right here, man. I mean, this is like super quick. It's crazy. Um, I'm I'm hoping the driver of this truck right here, I'm hoping that he's all right, man. But that is scary. That is crazy scary. I mean, flatbed drivers, leave your comments in the comments below. What happened? What happened? I mean... Probably a hard break. Car probably cut him off. Uh, you know, of course it was bad securement. I can I can see that. It wasn't secured well enough. I mean that that that's my opinion. I'm I'm not a flatbed driver. That's why I need my flatbed drivers to come in and let me know. You know, what's your assessment of this video right here? I mean, the whole load crashed right in the back of this of this guy's truck. And I mean, suppose somebody was sleeping back there. Ooh. Suppose they was running teams and 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 the co-driver was sleeping back there. Man, come on. It's it, I'm flatbed drivers. Is it is how did this happen? How did this happen? I mean, in the video, like I said, a lot of the a a, a lot of it looks like it was it's, it was just bad securing me. And he probably slammed on the brakes, and the whole load just crashed right into the back of the cab. Flatbed drivers, have you guys been in a situation like this? I mean, I've seen much crazier uh, flatbed crashes. I mean, I, I've seen some, I, I've seen a video, I can't find it, but it was a pole that ran right out the front window. Let me know. Let me know. I, I, I need understanding on this because, like I said, as... The reason for me not doing flatbed is because, like I said, I, you know, flatbed is a young man's, a young woman's game. I, I salute all of you guys that does flatbed. You know, y'all get out there. Y'all get out there in the mud. Y'all get out there rain, sleek, snow, hot, cold. Those tarps is heavy. Those tarps are heavy as shown here. Let's jump into the comments right quick. This commenter says, only one chain? Jeez. This commenter says, why he didn't use chains instead of straps? Why? I mean, you would want to secure a load using chains of that magnitude, right? That, that load right there requires chains. And if that's the case... Is it required, you know, the different uh, load securements when y'all go and pick up these loads? Is, is it somewhere said that this load requires chains? He definitely didn't belly wrap that thing. So that's why this is happening. This commenter says, well, his brakes work. Yeah, you, you could tell right there that was a hard breaking job right there. This commenter says, straps? Well, lesson learned, you know for next time. If there is a next time. I mean, would the, would, would the driver still be working for this company? And also, flatbed drivers, is this a preventable? I'm going to assume it is. 
and it is going to go on his DAC report, right? Is, is this going to be considered an, a crash, accident, incident? Let me know in the comments below. This commenter says, easy, bro. Just convert it to a, well, first thing first, I'm glad nobody wasn't hurt. And I am damn sure glad that nobody wasn't in the back of the sleeper at the time. This commenter says, oh, my God. Hey, bro. What? Oh, my God. This commenter says, I haul them lots of chains cross the front and back and don't hit the brakes. That's some good advice right there. This commenter says, it's with chains in the front and back. Four chains across the low and five straps. These are some good advice is coming from these flatbed drivers on securing this particular load right here. This one says, you should have etched them in front. I always do. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. <laughs> Shoulda, coulda, woulda. It's all past tense now. He didn't do it. Accident happened. Let's move forward. How can we all learn from this? What he could have done, what he should have done. Let's leave that alone. What, what can we learn from this moving forward? This commenter says, no, we didn't need a headache rack. What good are they? A headache rack would have, would have, would have, would have stopped that. I mean, it probably would have when you think about it. This commenter says, this is exactly why every state needs to implement the headache rack back into law. Every truck should have one no matter what. This commenter says, could have nose chained in after belly chaining the load. Should have used chains, not straps. This commenter says, never haul if you don't have the proper equipment. Well, if that's, if, if that's the case, could you probably put that on the company by sending him in a truck that didn't have a headache rack to pick up this particular load that should have been chained? Flatbed drivers, let me know what you think in the comments below. Big G's got it locked.